Hey, it's Jaden from XLR Security, and today I'm going to show you how to add a third party camera to a Uniview NVR. This method works with any IP camera that supports OnVIF. So if you have a Hikvision, Swan, Dawa, RealLink, or Lorex camera, and you want to add it to your Uniview NVR, this is the video for you. What I have with me today is a 4 megapixel turret camera made by Dawa. So I'm going to take this out of the packaging and connect it to one of the PoE ports on the back of the Uniview NVR. I also need to connect my laptop to the back of the NVR so that I can log in and configure the settings on the IP camera and on the NVR. So I'm going to do that right now. So now that I have both my laptop and the camera hooked up to the back of the NVR, I'm going to go ahead and open Easy Tools 2.0 on my computer. And on Easy Tools 2.0, we'll see a list of all the IP cameras and NVRs connected to my laptop. In this case, the Dawa camera that we're using, the third party camera, shows up as a 192.168.1.108. And we're going to need to log into this camera and change it into the same range as the NVR which is 172.16.0.1. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this button here to open up the Dawa camera in a web browser. So we're going to go ahead and log into the camera with the password that we just set up. And we want to find the network settings. So again, on any of your camera, it's always going to have a network setting. And you want to set this to a static IP address starting with 172.16.0 because this is the same subnet as the Uniview NVR's PoE port. Now that that's been done, we can make sure that it's working by going to this IP address. After setting up the IP address of the Dawa camera, we're going to log into the Uniview NVR by navigating to 172.16.0.1. We're going to go ahead and log in. Navigate to Setup, Camera, and we're going to add the camera on an empty channel. In this case, D6 is an empty channel. So we're going to click on Modify, set this to OnVIF, and type in the IP address that we just set up for the camera. And the HTTP port is usually 80. And after refreshing, the camera should come online momentarily. Yep, so the camera just came online. We'll go to live view and make sure that it's working. Yep, so here, here's the Dawa camera. You can see that it's working perfectly. And this is connected again to the back of the Uniview NVR. My laptop is also connected. To the back of the Uniview NVR. And that concludes this tutorial. Hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.